Hello everyone, Medford Collectibles back here and we have an SGC return from a couple weeks ago. I've had actually been sitting on this now for about a week or two. Been traveling for work a little bit, so I have not been home to open this, but got home last night and uh, decided I would finally open this up. So this video, um, I recorded the, the preview for this about probably three weeks ago. If you go back and look, it's my last SGC preview where I went through the grades, kind of show you, I marked down all the grades here, what I thought. So this is uh, all the stuff here. And then a couple more here that I marked on the grades on the side there. I got the front page folded over. It's got my information on it. But so I'll um, reference here how I did. I, I did see the grades already. Uh, I did not go through and update them all, though. Uh, in general, it was pretty close. I did have a couple of disappointments and a couple of surprises. So uh, overall, overall good. But looking forward to get in here and see these to uh, to see how we did. So um, where you see the, the 910 and 9510, those are obviously the autos and what I thought the card would get and the auto grade would get. So if I had autos where there was no slash, it means I didn't think that the auto grade was going to grade a 10. Like the Shack, for instance. Didn't think that was going to get a 10. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the... I think the the or the Bobby Hall, I didn't think it was going to get a 10. The Vlad, I didn't think it was going to get a 10. So we'll go through it. I'll, I'll update this and, and give you an idea of what I thought and what they came back as. As always, give us a follow. Give us a like if you like these videos. Check us out. All the platforms. Um, Medford Collectibles on MySlabs, eBay, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. On, uh, on Twitter, we're Medford Collect. And we are now on Whatnot as well, Medford Collectibles. Still have to set up my first show there. Should be coming here pretty soon. Thinking about doing it this weekend, actually, with the Sunday of the Open. Might do a morning morning first sale. So we'll let everyone know if that's the case. But let's jump into this. Obviously, I already took this out of the box. I guess we'll start with the big one here. Um, I feel like the last time I sent it to SGC, I got a big one back, too. The Willie Mays. But this is a Rogers Hornsby card. the big slab now this one I thought was going to get authentic and we'll see why right away look at the back of this card see all the paper loss and it was pulled out of a, a book or something but still a pretty valuable card because of the age obviously Hall of Famers this one got a 1 so expected an A got a 1 we'll take that we'll take a number grade on this card that's a pretty cool card and now let's open the other ones here. Like I said, I have not opened this yet. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you actually saw a picture of one of the cards already because, because of how SGC takes a photo of the card and, and uploads it. They did, um, they did that and I saw the one card that came back with the images. I was excited to see what it came back as and it was a, it was a good surprise. So any of you that follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you saw that. But we'll get to see it again here live in person for the first time. There were two cards that they did not grade in this in this submission, unfortunately. Um, the one I knew was going to be a risk. The one I didn't know was going to be a risk. I don't know where those cards are. I actually don't see them in here. So I don't know where they put those cards. Huh. Maybe that's really weird. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. I think it was only a twenty seven card order. Huh, let me see here. That's kind of weird. Oh, you know what? So I don't want to show you guys all the grades, but 
So they have one here. The two cards that we couldn't grade. Right here. The Chris Vondere cannot grade. And the, the UTC to Paco Joe Lewis that cannot grade. But they still have encapsulation and I don't see the cards. So I'm kind of wondering if they maybe encapsulated them as authentic or they just can't grade them. So I'm pretty confident we only had 27 cards. So I would actually be very pleased that they still just authenticated those cards. I guess we'll find out here in a second. I was obviously I was upset, <laughs> upset coming into this. I thought I could, they they wouldn't authenticate them, but maybe they did. I guess we're about to find out together. So let's start just from where we are here. I don't think these are in the right order. Because the card on top is not the last card I did, but um, we will jump in here. Try to show you guys as we go. Just knock my light. So we already did the Rogers Hornsby here. That's the 1936. The National Chickle. So that one got a one. So we did a little better there. Keep hitting my light. There we go. So this one got a one. Happy with that. Next up here, we got a Kyle Bush on top. This is a, a it's like a quad patch auto from Cornerstones. This one I expected to get. Really wish you had they had these in orders. Now I gotta dig. Uh, this one I had marked a nine on the card and a ten on the auto. So this one is numbered out, I think, 18. Yep, six out of eighteen. 2021 Chronicles, Cornerstones. We did a little better on this one. We got 9.5 on the card, 10 on the auto. It's a cool card, good shine to it. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So I don't know what kind of value this card has. Um, kind of tough to find, but Kyle Busch Auto, I mean, he's one of the popular racers, NASCAR racers out there. So very pleased with that, with that grade. Put this up here. So good surprise there. We've got nine, five, ten. Next up here, let me actually I feel like my screen's a little fuzzy here. Let's see if I can get this a little more. I don't know if it's just focus or it's fuzz on the screen. Alright. Next is our Vlad. So we got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. auto out of Museum Collection, archival auto. I had this one as a as an eight and no auto grade. So I, I didn't think this one would get an auto grade. Um, thicker card, so obviously wasn't very confident that the, that the card would get a good grade either. But this is another good surprise. So we had a nine on the card and they gave it a 10 auto, which you can see why I thought it was a, not a 10 auto. You see the streaks there in the auto, but it is, it is all on card. 35 at 85. So pretty good there. I'm pleased with that as well. It's another good surprise. So we'll take that one. I'm going to run out of room here pretty quick for those cards. So I expected an 8 there, and instead we got an, an 8 with no auto grade. Uh, we got a 9 with a 10, so you can't beat that. Next here is Wade Boggs. Uh, this one I thought... Uh, I thought this would be a 9 with a 10 auto. Um, nine, because again, thick card, just wasn't a lot of confidence that this is going to get, um, higher than a nine. And it also came back a nine, five, like the Kyle Bush with a 10 auto number to 10 hall of famer, another on card auto there. So again, great surprise here on some of these modern cards, getting some good grades. So we'll take that. So, so far, all three auto cards we got were, were great surprises, uh, whether it be the auto being graded or the card itself getting a higher grade. So, so far, everything we've touched is available. If, if you guys are interested, just reach out one of the platforms I showed earlier. Uh, none of these cards are for PC. We will get into some PC cards here further down the stack, but so far, these will all be coming up for sale. 
This one you got to pry from my hands if you want it. Uh, this is my third Cabrian Hayes Auto. Actually, it's my fourth. I sold one. Uh, I picked up one of the show, then sold it pretty much right after I picked it up in a deal. But this one, um, I had high expectations for this card. I had it 9, 5, 10, but if you look at the video, I did say I thought this could be a 10. I didn't see any flaws. So we got the 10. 10, 10 on the orange refractor out of 25. Cabrian Hayes. It's, it's the Super Futures insert. That's a cool card. Very pleased I came back at 10. I, I, I knew it was going to be at least a 9.5, but to get back at 10 on that card, uh, very surprised, very pleased. So, nice looking card there. Probably got to demote to Vlad for that one. Can't really see him anyway, so the big stack in the middle. Put the Vlad up here. I'm just leaning against the back. All right. Next is a short printed shack. Is that a leaf? Um, I had this one as a straight nine, no auto grade. There's a short print. I think it's to, to seven or to nine. Um, pro set, the blue or the teal or something. And I nailed that one. That's light blue, seven out of nine. Just a straight nine, no auto grade. The auto kind of is streaky and it also uh coming off the coming off the sticker there it's a sticker auto so we'll take the nine that's what I expected but a short, shack short print to nine don't see these very often so cool looking card there happy to get what i thought so far i've been above on all but one of them that will come to an end i promise you because all the good ones are getting out of the way quickly here. Uh, next card here I see is a Bobby Hall. This is an auto as well. I expected a nine here with no auto grade. It's your Bobby Hall. It's from 2001 Upper Deck Premier Collection. Bobby Hall, obviously, big hockey player, Hall of Famer. And we got a nine five on that one. So I expected a nine on the card, no auto grade. Came back a nine five, no auto grade. So a half higher than we expected. Again, very pleased to get a 9.5 in this card. Knew the auto wasn't great. But happy with that. Looks good. It's a cool looking card. Next up, we get a pull host rookie. So this is his... Uh, just tops chrome. It does. It is a late edition. It says on the card. They didn't put anything in the label, though. I noticed. So I don't know if that's normal or if they missed it. But it is just a uh, stomach five ninety six. They have that on the card, obviously on the on label. I was expecting a nine on this card. I thought it was in really good shape. Kind of see there's some whitening around the edges, which is why I didn't think it was going to get a ten. But I was hoping for a nine in the pull holes, and we got a nine. So as expected there, it's good centering, just some whitening on the back and a little touch of white on some of the corners. But overall good shape, so we will take that. Please to get the nine there, what I was hoping for. Next up here, we got a Reggie Jackson. If you guys remember this card, it was it was cracked out of a uh, like lesser grading company slab. And I was just hoping it didn't come back trimmed. That was my That was my biggest concern, don't come back trimmed. Uh, but I thought it was going to get a five. It was, I think, it was in a six label with the other grading company. But and I knew you couldn't trust that. So hoping for a five here, and that's exactly what we got. Got a five. So card looks good, presents well, well centered. Uh, the corners just a little soft. Well, that's not focusing that well, but corners are a little soft. But it's a nice looking card. I'm gonna try to zoom it in. Maybe maybe that'll help a little bit. So pleased with the five on the Reggie there. Just a couple. Few hundred dollar card. I think we'll put the Reggie up here and in place of Kyle Bush. That one will be in my Hall of Fame collection, so that one is not available uh, unless I get a higher grade Reggie and I'll replace it. But expected a five, got a five. We'll take that. All right, next here we got a Brooks Robinson. This is one I picked up in a trade at a card shop. 
trade away a bunch of cheaper, like three to five dollar cars. When I was went on a trip with my my older brother a few weeks ago or a few months ago, went to a Pirates game, stopped at a card shop, was looking around for a while and came across this Brooks Robinson. It's a '58, yeah, '58. Thought it was in great shape, so decided I would take a chance on this and, and hope for a high grade. I was hoping for a six on this card. Came back a five and a half. So it was a half half grade light on this one. Uh, not really sure why. If you look at it here, it looks, it is a little OC. Um, and it's not perfect by any means, but I thought this would be a higher grade just, just based on how it looked. But missing my half is not that big of a deal. Uh, the, the, the back is off center, so I know SGC dings the back more. This could be one that you could look at breaking out, sending the PSA because they, they're a little less, a little more leaning on the back centering. But happy to get that in the five and a half. That's a terrible picture. <laughs> if I, if I were Brooks, I wouldn't be happy with the picture they use. But this is another one be in my Hall of Fame collection. I don't have an earlier Brooks Robinson yet, so it'll be in there until I get pick up one of his rookie cards or pick up a higher grade of that card. That's his second year, so his rookie's 57. Uh, next here, we got a Baseball Caramels. This is... Uh, this is American Caramel. It's Rube Marcard, Hall of Famer. 1909-11. to uh, Expected a, a 1 on this card. Heavily creased. You'll see when I turn around. Rounded corners. I thought this could be potentially authentic because it was in such bad shape, but I was hoping for a 1. Got a one. So this is another one be in my Hall of Fame collection until I get a better version of Rube. So uh, pleased with that. Got what I expected. Can't beat that on an old vintage card. Just happy it's authentic. I'm still, uh, I can't stop thinking about those two cards that are in slabs in here that they wouldn't, they wouldn't assign an auto grade to. So I'm still wondering what those are, uh, what the deal is with those. Uh, Rube got a one. All right. Warren Spawn. This is 1952. This one we expected to get 52 Spawn. I was, I said a three and a half on this one. So pretty good shape, but you can see there's some, some wax and stuff. So not, not perfect by any means, but hoping for a three and a half. Came back a four. So good there. We uh, and the centering was what was concerned me there. Thought the car looked pretty good otherwise. So I'm pleased with the with the four on that one. Did a little better than we thought. We'll take that. Next here, we got a Musual. This is 1960. I know I expected this to get a pretty good grade for the age. Let me see what I wrote down here. I wrote down a six on this card. Which anything above a five for these vintage cards is pretty good. Hoping for a six, you can see why. I mean, the back coloring looks great. It's pretty well centered. It's a little off, I guess. A little bit of staining on the card, but very bright. This came back a five. It's kind of disappointing. Centering's off, but core looks great. I'm not sure why it only got a five. This you can see the surface is very clean. That's probably a combination of the little bit being off center. I guess that one corner down here on the right is a little kind of see it's a little rough. But we'll take a five. I missed that one by a full grade. I said a six there. Unfortunately. Oops. So Five on the usual. That's my biggest miss so far. We had a miss of a half and now a miss of a full point. Um, a couple of these next ones I missed. I know I missed on a couple of these. I was expecting some high grades. This one's a 1952 Bowman Small Jack Christensen. Uh, Hall of Famer, but not overly valuable card unless it's in a high grade. So I was hoping for a six here. There is some staining. Kind of see it, a little bit of staining there. Card's pretty well centered. 
got a four and a half. So I missed by a full point and a half on this one. I'm not sure why. Again, if you look at the card from here, looks great. But they dinged me pretty hard. It looks like there might be a little bit of a surface problem here. Right there. But four and a half, you know, I'll get my money back probably with what I have into the card when I have it into grading. Six would have been nice because they're pretty pretty hard to come by in, in that high of a grade. But a little something on the back here too, it looks like. Yeah, it's on the slab. So got a four and a half on the Christensen on the first one. So now that's my biggest miss. Off by two and a half, or a full point and a half there, which is kind of disappointing. I think that's the worst one I had. Oh, no, it's not. There's a there's a worse one, unfortunately. Uh, Autogram 1952. This one I had as a five. I thought it was just slightly worse than the, the Christensen when I sent it. You see the back looks is a little dinged up on the back. Autogram, valuable. These are valuable cards for Autogram. It is off center, left to right. It's heavy on left. Top to bottom looks okay. This one got a four. So I missed another one by a full point on this one. I think maybe I just don't know how to grade these Bowman Smalls. Corners are a little rough, I guess. But again, from here, looks like a great card. I went over these pretty closely. Just missed by a full point on that one. So five on the auto. Full point lower than we expected with the what the we are, I'm sorry four on the auto we expected to five. Got another autogram here. This is a 51 Bowman autogram. I expected a four on this one. See great color on the back. Three and a half. So I missed by a half on this one. Corners are rough. I mean three and a half four. Not overly upset about this one coming back where it did. Some of the others are a little more upsetting. Great centering on this card. Corner's just a little beat up. Cool looking card. So we'll take that. So the three and a half there. Next here, this is a Spawn Black Back. This is 1952 tops. Um, I had a three on this one. It is way OC on the back, so I'm not gonna be surprised. I don't remember what it came back as, I forget. But wouldn't be surprised if it's worse than a three, based on what I see here. It looks like I can see some wear on the back. I see the off center. So we'll see. I'm guessing I just had no creases, which is why I set a three on it. Yeah, two and a half. But way OC. Great color, though. It's a cool looking card. Two and a half, missed by half. The way it goes. Not upset about that one. Here's our Ernie Lombardi Worldwide Gum. This is short prints. This is a this is a rare card. So the Gaudi, the Gaudi in the set. If you look at the pop counts, and I did, it's probably 10x the pop count for the Gaudi versus the Worldwide Gum, which is the Canadian version. So not many of this card graded. I think it's maybe less than 20. Uh, if you look at it, you go see it's 1934 Worldwide Gum Ernie Lombardi Hall of Famer. This one got a three, and I expected a three. So this one, this one came back as I expected. Pretty valuable card, rare, rare to find. So I'm pleased with this. I think this will end up in my Hall of Fame collection. I do. I think I have a Lombardi placeholder, but I don't think it's as nice of a card as this. So I have to look. This one could be available, or might be put away until I find something better for Ernie Lombardi. I'm gonna actually put this card up here. Take the Brooks down. That's a pretty rare card. I like this card. So three, three there. There's a Hugh Duffy. Another Hall of Famer for my collection. Just want to go to the PC. This is 1911 Sweet Capital. T205 Hugh Duffy. Expecting a one and a half for this. Heavily creased. Got a stain on the back. I bought this raw off ebay but again a pretty rare card you don't see a whole lot of this card so we got a one and a half so gold border you see the crease right there at the middle crease up here pretty bit up well centered though for the hall of famer so we will take the one and a half on that card it's exactly what i expected 
happy with that. I don't know what this is. This is probably um let me see if I can figure out what this one is. I think this is probably the Dazzy Vance. 1926 W512 Dazzy Vance. I was expecting authentic because these are hand cut. But you can see in this in this slab here that it is cut pretty well. I mean, it fits in there almost perfectly into this case, which tells me it was cut well. And I think even in the video when I did this, I said it was cut well. You can kind of see the lines where it was cut. So I had authentic because it was hand cut, and you never know. But this is a nice surprise. Came back as a three. So very few higher graded than a three in this card. I mean, not many graded anyways. It's a rare card. This will definitely end up in my Hall of Fame PC for Vance until I find something better. But 1926 hand cut, Dazzy Vance. It's a great looking card. Who are we going to demote? Let's put, let's put Rogers over here. Put Dazzy up there. It's a cool card. So, I mean, I was three, technically three grades better on that one than I expected. I was not expecting a, a letter grade or a number grade at all. Next one's here, pretty beat. We got Willie Mays, 56 tops. Yeah, 56 tops, white back. So expecting, I, I had these at A, just because you can see why. I mean, these things are crushed. Expecting an A, and it came back a one for the white back. So at least got a number grade. Beat up. Looks like it was riding around in the kid's pocket for a while. What, cool Mays. We'll take that. You know, any time it gets a number grade over the A, in that kind of condition, we'll take it. Same way with the mantle here. 56 white back mantle. Actually, this might be a gray back. I can't remember. It's kind of tough to tell because it's so beat up. You got tape on it, heavily creased, but it is a 56 mantle. And this one came back a one as well. I expected an A here as well for obvious reasons, but it came back a one. It is the gray back. Beat up. But they did authenticate it, slab it, and gave it a one. So we will take that one as well. Pleased with that. Next up here, we got a Hank Aaron. For this one, I expected. This one was a disappointment, I believe. I said a two and a half on the Hank Aaron white back. Does have a crease. Uh, if you look at it in the slab, it looks to be. It looks to fit pretty well, like it's the right size. But it came back as an A, unfortunately. I'm not sure why. I don't. I don't know. I guess it could be trimmed. It, it, if you look at it in here, the bottom looks pretty pretty much flat the whole way across, and the top, not so much. So maybe it is trimmed. It, SGC has since changed their label, like right after I got this back to now where they'll put the reason. But I assume, now that I see this in the slab from this side, that it's probably slightly trimmed on the top or, or factory miscut. Not sure does have some wear, some surface wear. So I wasn't expecting a huge grade on this anyways. But kind of disappointed to get an A there. Expecting a number grade. Still looks cool. I mean, I got quite a few of the 56s here. Basically all the major ones besides Clementi that, that I sent in here. Picked these up in different auction lots. So got those three back. So big disappointment on the, on the Aaron. Hoping for, I don't know if I was saying maze earlier, but hoping for a 2.5, came back an A. Couple more cards here. These are the last two that, oh, you know what the, oh, I, I see what the two cards are. They're in here. They're in this, ah, they're inside of here. So they didn't slab them, unfortunately. I was getting excited thinking they, they maybe slabbed them, but they, they sent them back in this case. I'll show you guys those. 
This is a Rizzuto. This is another one I was kind of a disappointment. I was hoping for a four here, but there was some staining on it. And if you watch the video back where I did a preview, I wasn't sure how they would treat the staining on the front. Well, I, I found out the hard way. Look at the back of the car, it looks great. A. So it, I'm kind of guessing maybe the card was soaked or something. You can kind of see all the, like the reddening. And I'm, I'm assuming that maybe like the orange bled into the card. Maybe they tried to soak something off the card, which caused some bleeding and came back an A. This, this was another one for my Hall of Fame collection. I don't have it. I don't have a better Rizzuto than this, so that's where it'll end up for now. But I'll probably end up moving on from this at some point. I picked this up with a good deal. The guy, the guy knew that I bought it raw, obviously, and the guy knew that this the staining was here, so he had it priced accordingly. So it's probably still I'll make a little bit of money back when I do decide to sell it based on what I paid for it. But kind of disappointing there because it, it presents very well. So whatever they did to it killed the grade. So. That's the Rizzuto last graded card, and I'll show you guys the two that they couldn't grade. I don't know why, it just says no. <laughs> this is a 1921 W516-2-1 Rogers Hornsby. Uh, you can see this one, another hand cut, miscut. I could have probably cleaned this one up and tried to get a grade on this one, but I didn't. Kind of regretting it because it, it would have gotten an A anyways, which is what I was expecting. Came back an A. I probably could have trimmed the rest of the card on this side. Touched it up on this side, just like somebody did years ago, and maybe gotten that to the correct size and gotten a grade. But I didn't want to mess with it. Not sure if I'll do anything with that or not, but that's exactly what I expected was an A. Just to get this authenticated, it's a, it's a valuable card just to be authentic. So, happy with that one. Try to set this one up here too. Oh, they're all falling down. Move these, and I'll show you guys the last two. A little bit longer video here. I'm talking too much. These last two, I had these, I had the, well, we'll start with this one. You can see what it is, 1886-87, Old Judge N172, Chris Vondere, Browns Champions. The truck, the, the card was skimmed, so the back was taken off the card, and it's also cut. So I knew this was a risk of not getting authenticated. They didn't charge me for it, so they didn't, come, they didn't say it's fake. They said they won't grade it. Uh, and they gave me a refund. Typically, if it's fake, they'll still charge you and say it's it'll, it'll come back with um something different where it'll say like you know not authentic or something but there's there's missing like the bottom part of this card where it says i forget what else says on the card but it was missing the bottom part and missing the back so we didn't get that one i not sure what i'll do with this now i may send it into psa see if they'll, they'll take a stab at it we got the 18 dollar option right now so i could try that and this one's kind of disappointing again i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this one this one I thought would get a two. It's a Joe Lewis rookie. 1935 UTC Tobacco. World Famous Boxers. Again, didn't say it was fake. Just said they wouldn't grade it. I'm not sure why. Because they, they have graded this. I've seen this card graded in an SGC slab. So again, I don't know what I'll do with this one. Kind of see. I'll show you the guys the back here. But it's heavily stained because they come in tobacco. They come in tobacco uh, cigarette packs, I think. I don't know what I'll do with this either. Probably try, probably give it another shot. And send it to. I'll probably send both these into PSA just to see if they can authenticate them. I mean, they authenticated. I see cards get cut in half and get authenticated, so probably worth another shot with these. Maybe it was maybe it was colored as well. It looks kind of shiny here. Like maybe they. Kind of see that now that it's out of here. Maybe they recolored the gloves. Maybe that's why they won't mess with it. I don't know. But anyway. So overall, pretty good though. Um, total recap, we had a couple that were 
if I look down through, we had two, three, four, five. I'm trying to see how many got exactly what we thought. Five, six. We had six get right on the money. Um, we had, let me see, we had to get better. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine get better. So six right on the money, nine get better, which means the rest of them got worse. Um, obviously the two didn't get authenticated. That's playing into it. We had the Aaron, the Musual. So there's two, three, four, five, six. Um, seven, eight, nine. So probably nine or 10, not get, not get what we expected. But a couple of those were just a half grade. Some of them were full grade. Some of them were things like three to A, four to A, which is unfortunate, but Overall, pretty pleased with the order. I think my, I don't know if it's my favorite car, but this is the one I was most surprised by that, that came back at 10. You don't see many. It's a thicker card, chrome card. Really pleased with that one. I guess the Dazzy Vance too was a great surprise. Coming back at, with a number grade. So if you guys liked the video, give it a like, give us a follow. We got more of these coming. I got more cards out waiting on 40, 41 more cards from PSA that, that have been there since last March or April. I've got, um, I've got probably over a hundred vintage and modern cards at CSG. A lot of those are just trying to get authentic on and we'll be sending my send an order out to PSA with their, their current $18 offer. May, might try to put 20 together and, and do that. Just not sure if I really want to wait. I'm not sure if I really want to wait six months for my cards again. <laughs> Doing that once or twice was kind of annoying. Still don't have them back yet, so I'm not sure. But the cards, I don't think are going to move a lot. Vintage cards, I, I may send a few off to do it like, like these. You know, I could throw these in there. Take a shot at 18 bucks to get those authenticated. If they get authenticated, they're going to come back as an upcharge, which, which should be okay. So... Again, find us on all the platforms. Keep a lookout for whatnot as well. Reach out if you guys are interested in any cards. We'll take a look at, you know, we can always make a deal on these for most of them. And then uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.